Map and Zap is about identifying and controlling weeds using um, non-chemical technology. Uh, it's not to replace chemicals, but it's going to reduce the use of chemicals over time. The way it works is that uh, it uses AI, artificial intelligence, uh, to identify species of weed. So we can tell this weed is useful, for example, clover, because it fixes nitrogen. The other weed is not, and the AI system can detect that by the leaf shape, the size, and then uh, it guides the laser to the weed automatically using an actuator and it kills the weed using laser. The possibilities of using the system are a lot. Uh, we did this on purpose to make this map and zap system a generalist system. So it's system agnostic or platform ag uh, agnostic. It doesn't matter if you want to put our map and zap system on a uh, tractor or on a robot. It works everywhere, it's just a unit you buy it and then it works uh, using your batteries on any vehicle you have. That was purposeful. We did that because we wanted to sell people a product that can sit on anything they want to use. The fact is that what it means is that you can use it in vineyards, of course, like this, or you can use it for row crops, for pastures, for orchards, but we don't want to do everything. We just want to have a generalist um, product which can be adapted to anything that the investors want us to do in the future. I was really impressed here today to see the, the team bring these technologies together. There's obviously the mapping, the AI, and then the zapping with the laser. And to be able to identify and zap weeds at such an early stage, so two weeks, and identify them from the clovers, just brilliant to see these technologies. We are seeing a lot of uh, investment into clean technologies and soil health is obviously uh, critical. So once again, the application of this type of solution to maintaining soil health, uh, we're pretty excited about the, this technology. It's a massive global market, so uh, just even looking at, you know, from vineyards, uh, on-farm, uh, horticulture, uh, vegetable growing, there's so many um, opportunities here. Uh, the team have really looked at the competitive landscape, and we're pretty excited about the commercialisation pathway and the next steps. I'm from wine industry um, predominantly and absolutely uh, it's an integral part of weed control. It's something that we don't have right now. Um, we need to take an integrated approach and this fills a gap um, in, that, in that suite. Market access is really shaping the future for our industry, for agriculture and, and the wine industry. Um, we can't get rid of uh, herbicides uh, immediately um, and perhaps I if at all but we do need to embark on a, on a technology pathway that largely eliminates the use of, of herbicides and this particular technology uh, fits the sustainability criteria. Um, New Zealand's a difficult place for, for agriculture and if we can prove it here I think it's got a fantastic chance of uh, being successful on, on the global stage. Bringing lasers, like when I was young, that was uh, just uh, science fiction. And seeing it here in the grass uh, is an amazing uh, thing to see and a uh, great advancement. And I think this is the exact thing when you're saying precision agriculture. You are dealing precisely with the problem without harming the rest of, you know, everything in, around it. So definitely I think uh, what MAP and ZAP are promising or trying to bring to the market is a definite, uh, you know, definite great solution. New Zealand is just, you know, a, a basic test bed. It's a great place to do tests. You have every type of environment. You have uh, four seasons. You you have uh, many types of soils, but the market is not that big. So definitely, this solution can easily um, meet. First of all, just uh, over the ditch in Australia, but right after, I would see U.S. and other huge markets looking at this solution as a great opportunity to save chemicals and do much better work.